Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixplus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and in this video I'm going to show you a full vocal mix, lead vocal processing, parallel compression, but we will focus mostly on the effects chain and how they develop throughout the song as this mix has some very interesting vocal effects. That once you see them and understand why I put them there, you can apply the same concept to any song really. This is a track you guys asked for, the band is called Chaos india and they just signed for universal record with the album i mixed the song is called half this is gonna be interesting i hope here we go Before we start, if this is your first time here on Mixbus TV, please consider subscribing, hit the bell icon, and if our videos are helping you in any way you want to support the channel, we now have an Amazon code you can use when shopping on Amazon for anything. That way you can support Mixbus TV at no additional cost for you. The code is here and in the info box down below, your support is very much appreciated. But let's start by listening to the mix, I will put the link to the final product in the info box as well if you want to listen to the entire song, which I also mentioned. Mastered. Here's the mix. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move downstairs. Staring at the wall, painting all the things you are, which I'm not. You know, alibis can last for so. Okay, so as you can hear from this mix, these vocals are very spacey, very wide. There's a lot of different delays and a lot of ambience. It sits in the mix very well, but probably the most characteristic effect, what I like to think is my stamp on this track effect wise, is that reverse reverb delay underneath the verse. So let's listen just to the vocals and the effects. Sitting on a chair. Having not the strength to move downstairs Staring at the wall Painting all the things you are Which I'm not Take a look at these You know alibis can last for so long Till my everything turns into blood Did you ever feel like me As you were off Oh, what you should be I don't never know who I am And I'm pushing myself close Okay, so the first thing that we are seeing here, the, the more simple one, are these throw delays. Well, actually, one throw delay, this automation here, so you can see the fader going up. That's for so long. So. This is pretty simple. This goes to my throw delay. Let's take a look at it, which is down here. And I have an SSL channel, simple H delay, and a reverb after the delay and an EQ at the end of the chain. So the SSL is not doing anything. These are the settings for the delay, the throw delay, followed by reverb and a little bit of a cue to make it sit in the mix. That's for so long, so long. That's for and that is pretty simple. This is my throw delay for this song. It has just a little bit of reverb after the delay. You know, guys, I like that. The second one is the main delay 
which is starts here in the chorus. This is a simple automation. It starts when the chorus starts and it ends when the chorus ends. This goes to my uh, main delay, which is right below, right above, actually. The SSL is not doing anything. Again, there's the H delay. You can see the settings. And let me close this one, which is not doing anything anyway. Again, reverb, which is a 40%. In this case, I want the main delay to be a little less hazy than my uh, throw delay, which was, if I don't remember wrong, 70%, the reverb ratio versus the dry signal. And then I have, as I very often do, a compressor, which is ducking the signal of the delay, the compressor is triggered by the dry lead vocal. So basically the delay in the chorus is there all the time, but it gets ducked when the actual singing is happening and the delay repeats come up in between words. Did you ever feel like me as you were off or what you should be? Okay, it's not much, it's 3 dB, 4 of um, gain reduction, but it helps the lead vocals to be a little more intelligible and the delay this way is not overwhelming, it's not on top of the vocals all the time, but it comes up in between words. So these are two simple delays, a throw for the verses and a main delay for the chorus. But if you paid attention, there is ambient uh, all the time underneath the vocals. So let's take a look at what kind of effect is that because it's not just one reverb. Let's mute the delays and let's take a look at all the effects that combined are our ambient for the vocals. And this is a concept you can apply to pretty much every song, both the delays and the ambient. When I create an ambient for a vocals, it's 99% of the times never one reverb or one room effects. It's a combination of delays and reverbs. So let me show you what I did in this case. We muted the delays, let's mute the reverse reverb effect, which is this blue track here. And let's listen to just the vocals with the ambient. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move downstairs. Staring at the wall, painting all the things you are. Okay. So the first thing, let me mute the double and we'll take a look at that later. We have here an A delay, a slap delay, a vox room, which is a reverb and a verb vox, which is the second reverb. Let me try to solo these. So it's a combination. There are two delays and two reverbs just to create what I call the ambient. The ambient around the vocals for me is the space. Let's take a listen to the first A delay. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move downstairs. Eight note delay. Staring at the wall. It's in lo fi mode. And as you can hear and see from the settings, there is a very narrow bandwidth filtering. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move. This is how those eight delays sounds with the dry vocal. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move downstairs. So it creates this kind of radio -y stereo eight delay effect that gives me width and depth without blurring the lead mono vocals because the, the eight delays are wide apart and it has no feedback, so there's just one repeat. So it's not cluttering the lead vocals. The second one is my slap delay. I use the stock delay. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move downstairs. You hear how different the positioning of this second slap delay is compared to, to the, the first one. So there is an EQ after it, again, filtering, but let's take out the settings of the delays, just a 70 something milliseconds delay. It's left, right, it's linked, so everything is the same. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move. The tone of this delay is different, it's a lot brighter. And if you look at the settings, you see the delay time is the same for left and right, but there are 
the different the the only thing that changes is the modulation we have some on the left none on the right and we have different lpfs and same same feedback same delay time this is how it sound sitting on a chair having not the strength to move downstairs so there's still some stereo imaging but it's a lot narrower than the one we heard earlier this one sitting on a chair having not the strength to move and you hear how low the level is so i don't want these effects to be obvious i want these two short delays to be in combination with the two reverbs that we are going to see in a minute to be my ambient so i consider these four a cumulative effect that in the end gives me my ambient so let's listen the two short delays together sitting on a chair having not the strength to move downstairs dry vocal staring at the wall Painting all the things you are Only slap Which I'm not And the stereo 8 You know alibis can last for so long You hear already we have an ambient And we used no reverbs at all So the lead vocals, the mono vocals is very clear And we are a good point already Let's take a look at the, and these two, these four actually, the two short delays and the two reverbs are on all the time. So this is one effect. Let's listen to the Vox Room, which is Pro R. You can see the settings. Let me close our delay. The SSL is doing the filtering before hitting the reverb and a little bit of cut in the low mids. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move downstairs staring at the wall painting all the things you are this reverb is very warm the level is very low because it's very thick so this just wants to be reinforcement and you can see the setting the time and i cut some of the high end to make it warmer this gives me front to back depth so the level is very low my train of thoughts is this is the back of the room and then we have the fourth effect another reverb let me close pro r i use dverb for this fourth sitting on a chair having not the strength to move downstairs again you can see the ssl is doing the same filtering for this one so these are the resonant probably here around what it is 300 vocals had some resonance i wanted to cut that resonance before hitting the reverbs but you can hear the difference in tone between these fourth effect these second uh, reverb it's a lot brighter sitting on a chair having not the strength to move downstairs it's a large room compared to the pro r Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move, which is shorter, downstairs, warmer, and not as wide, maybe, but the two together sound like this. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move, downstairs. If we combine the two short delays, we have our ambient for the entire song. Sitting on a chair. Having not the strength to move downstairs. These were the basic effects, the throw delays and the main ambient, which again is on for the entire song. Now let's take a look at the main piece, that reverse delay verb, which is underneath the verses. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move downstairs. Staring at the wall. Let's solo it. You know, alibis can last for so long. So let's start by listening to it, bypassing all the post processing. This is a printed effect track. Not the strength to move down 
Let me mute the lead. You can hear is a reverse delay verb, but the delay time is different from left to right. That is the part that is uncommon. So how did I create this blue track? I copied my lead vocals and I put a verb first and a delay after. Now here's the trick. The delay, as you can see, is dual mono. So it's got different settings for left and right. You don't need to use this one. You can use any delay that has different settings for left and right, specifically an independent dry wet knob. So the verb comes first. So the signal goes into the delay already reverberated. The left channel has the delay. Let's listen to it, not in reverse. Okay, so you can see we have full wet on left and nothing on the right. It's filtered, it's got some feedback, fourth note. So one side, since this is gonna be a mono to stereo track, so we started with the mono, we end up with the stereo print. One side is gonna be delayed, the left channel, and the right channel is not because we have the dry wet knob all the way to dry. But even the right side, which is not delayed, is gonna have the reverb effect. So before printing this track, we go to Audio Suite and we reverse it. We print it reverse. Now it sounds like this. Okay. And from now, we just go to the last insert, we commit to this insert, we print our reversed track with the reverb and the delay, we ended up with this purple stereo track now, and we just reverse it back. And this is what we have. Which is the same as our blue track here. So we went from a dry lead vocals, we reverse it, apply the two effects, reverb and delay, then printed it and reverse it back. And we ended up with our raw reverse reverb delay. The process that follows is just filtering. A de -esser. More reverb. because we have the reverse reverb that is coming before the sang part, but now I want also some reverb after it. Then we have EQ, simple. And this is important. Now this is important, you see the settings, I am cutting a lot, 200 and 2K, around 2K, only on the mono portion of the signal because the level of this effect is pretty high in the verses and I don't want to clutter the vocals too much. So I'm cutting the mono channel, I'm cutting with the EQ, the mono channel, two main frequencies that allow me to keep the level of this effect high enough to be heard, to be obvious, to be characteristic for the song, but not to blur and clutter the lead vocal. Without it, Let's listen to it with and without the EQ with the lead vocal on. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move downstairs. The little boomy with staring at the wall, painting all the things you are, which I'm not. You heard how much clearer that is and it's not on top of the vocals, it's not overwhelming, without again. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move. With, same bit. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move. Without the EQ, the effect is pretty much on top of the lead vocals. With the EQ, just taking away those frequencies on the mid channel, it just switched places. The vocals is now back on top and the effects is behind it. 
as it's supposed to be. The last one is just the dynamic delay stock Pro Tools, which I love. So this is with the dynamic delay. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move downstairs. And the dynamic delay, you probably guys know it, is a very useful plugin. Stock from Pro Tools is just auto docking delay. So these are all the effects for the lead mono vocals. We also have a double lead vocal, uh, the entire performance. So this is also somehow some sort of ambient, but definitely an effect. So let's listen to it. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move. Downstairs. Okay, the level of it in the mix is really low, but it adds something. This is pretty straightforward. It's got some filtering. It's got a mono to stereo delay, so I can turn it from mono to stereo. It's got just 20 millisecond delay on the right side, nothing more. This turns our mono double into stereo. Let's listen to it. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move. Downstairs. It's pretty simple. Mono. Staring at the wall. Painting all the things you are. Which I'm not. Followed by our box, just for compression. You can see it is in dual mono. So now that the vocals comes out from the stereo delay. Stereo with different timing. I wanted to keep that wide stereo image. So the R box is in dual mono. Sitting on a chair. Having not the strength to move Doing some gating and downstairs. some compression And then a de Staring at the wall Just probably hitting only on the choruses or something like, like that me. Just for safety And together with the lead vocal sound like this Like me As you were off Oh what you should be and please note that this is not a copy of the lead vocals, it's a different performance. This is why I can get away with stereoizing it with a simple delay, okay? Because I don't care about phase problems on this track. It's a double, it's just a near candy. So this is why it's so important to have more than one good performance uh, for the vocals especially uh, to use on the mix because you can use them to create effects instead of coping and pasting the lead vocals and you will not have phase issues when you do paralleling or stereoizing it. The last thing we have on these vocals, I just noticed it, distro parallel print. So this is my parallel compression channel for the lead vocals. I usually don't print this one. I probably print it for the tutorial or I needed a distressor for something else, but this is how it sounds. Sitting on a chair. Having not the strength to move downstairs with the lead vocal. Sitting on a chair, having not the strength to move downstairs without staring at the wall, painting all the things you are, which I'm now. And now is at 12 dB higher than it is in the mix, so it would be this way. But it just adds density. Sitting on a chair. And it's not only for the tone, it's not only for the density, it's because we have a lot of stereo effect. So I need the lead vocals to be strong in the mono channel, okay? And this does the trick for sure. Then there's a lot of mixing on the output, some in bus for the lead vocals, and there's some mixing on the verse and the, the lead sum for the chorus. But you let me know, guys, if you're interested in that. This was specifically on the effects on the ambient, the concept of having uh, more than one effect. In my case, where two short delays and two reverbs to create an ambient, the main ambient for, for this vocal. And then the throw delays, which could be one, two, three, I sometimes have up to five. And then that very characteristic reverse reverb delay sound, which we printed.
I like that very much. And in my opinion, I, I look at it as my stamp. And that's a wrap. This is it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it and I hope it was useful. If you have any question on this mix, vocals, some other effects, some other instrument in this mix, leave it in the comment down below and please leave us a like and share the video if you like this one. Please keep supporting the channel by using our Amazon code or visiting Mixbuzz TV gear store. Links in the info box down below. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram to stay up to date with all the news, upcoming videos, my new channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time.